Good morning, my friends. Hey, today we begin the book of Revelation as we read through the Bible together in 2023. We have read together 65 of the 66 books. And today we start on the last one, book number 66. This is not the beginning of Revelation. This is just an introductory and a little bit of Redneck Rant updating y'all on my day yesterday, which had some frustrations in it, but it was a wonderful, wonderful day. You know, two days ago, I drove 40 miles south to the John Deere store to buy a new belt for the mower deck of my garden tractor which broke the day before and something else I forgot what else anyway I oh new blades for the deck the the blades that are on it are just two years old the tractor is just two years old but the blades needed sharpen and i could not find anybody anywhere to sharpen them for me i don't have a grinder here like i did back in texas and so i just bought a new set of blades and then the task was finding somebody to <clears throat> put that new belt and new blades on for me because I physically cannot do stuff like that anymore. <coughs> <coughs> Y'all excuse me. My asthma and my allergies and my uh, congestive heart failure has been kicking my rear the last couple of days. Sinus drainage, all kind of stuff. But anyway, I, I looked and I called friends asking for references and went on Facebook seeking help and I couldn't find anybody. Nobody here wants to work, y'all. Everybody just about here is a meth head and an alcoholic and a crack head. Most of them have a revolving door at the jailhouse and it's just I've never lived any place like this before but a friend that I had called a couple of days ago asking if he knew of anybody and that friend used to do all my work for me and then he moved away and he's not available anymore but he knows everybody in town <laughs> yesterday morning he called or sent me a text and gave me the name of somebody in that person's phone number. So I contacted that person and two or three hours later he came by. And he looked like some, somebody that the dogs would have dragged in. He looked rough. He looked like somebody had I known what his appearance was going to be like, I would have got my handgun and attached the holster to my side before he came, but I didn't, didn't have it. Y'all, don't judge people by the way they look like I did at first. That was one of the nicest guys I have ever met or dealt with. He was a former crackhead, a former meth head, a former meth producer. And he had just got out of jail the day before. But he... We, we had a little talk about Jesus and he has been released 
from his slavery in all of the alcohol and the drugs. His jail time that he had just been released from the day before was for non-payment of child support, not for a physical criminal act. And, and non-payment of child support, that's serious. And I kind of got a problem with people that don't pay their child support. But according to him, he had paid it, but the judge did not do whatever the judge is supposed to do to show that it had been paid. And he got picked up and spent two weeks in jail and got out after it was proven that he had paid it. That guy worked his rear off and I asked him to do two things, to put the new blades on the garden tractor and to put the new belt on it. He, he did stuff that I didn't ask him. He, with his own trimmer, with his own weed eater, trimmed all the way around the house, all the way around the sidewalk, all the way around the curb, and I live on a corner, so I got a lot of curb all the way around the garage, all the way around the garden, all the way around the uh, place where I've got the potatoes and garlic growing and all the way around the bags of soil and garden mix, all the way around the back porch. He, he did an excellent job of trimming and I didn't ask him to, but when I saw he started, I just let him go and he picked up all the sticks, the broken limbs in the yard, and there was a lot. And I had, when I had mowed the last couple of times, I just threw them up on the front porch. Because nobody ever uses a front porch. They either come to my side door or my back door. And uh, so I just threw them up on the front porch. And he, he put them in the back of his truck and said he'd take them to the place that they got here in town to take your tree limbs and so forth and he put on the blades and the what else the belt the belt that had broke and he he mowed a, a path and I walked out and looked and there's a strip of grass that big right down the middle of where he mowed. So I got on the tractor and I mowed some and there was a strip of grass that big on every swath that I made. That was no bueno y'all, it's supposed to mow all the way across. So he took the mower deck off again flipped it over on the side so we could see the blades and the blades it's got two blades and they are supposed to be marked left and right for the left side and the right side both of these blades said right so one of them was shorter than the other I mean one of them was shorter than the one that's supposed to be on there and it wasn't covering the whole path that the moor deck is supposed to be mowing. So I called the John Deere place and told them, and they told me to come back. They, they looked on the computer and they had sold me uh, the wrong box of blades. There's some tractor that uses two right blades, which I don't understand. But anyway, they told me to come back and they would give me the right ones, but the right ones cost $22 more than what I had already paid, which $22 is nothing, but I had already paid a ton of money for the belt and the blades. And I told them, I said, I, physically, I cannot drive back over there. I said, I need the blades right now because the guy's here right now 
and I don't want to pay him to come back a second time. And so the CEO of that tractor company brought the correct box of blades to me. I gave him my credit card number over the phone. They charged the difference, the $22 difference to my credit card. And the CEO picked up the two blades, which my worker had to remove from the moor deck, had to put them on, and then we figured out they were not the right ones, so he had to take them back off. <coughs> <coughs> I talked to him about who's going to pay for the labor for that worker for doing the job twice, because it wasn't my fault, it wasn't his fault that the wrong blades were sold to me, and I had to pay the worker twice. He said, John Deere doesn't do that. And I had to pay the difference. So they made a mistake and I had to pay for it. And I will be contacting John Deere corporate office about that because that's not right. And I've always loved John Deere. I kind of got a bad taste in my mouth for him now. But anyway, we got the right blades on, got the belt on. He mowed a little bit, just testing it. And I walked out there after about 10 minutes of him mowing. I said, get off my tractor. I said, that tractor is my tractor therapy, and I need some therapy. So he got off and went home. That guy was nice, y'all. You know, I did a prison ministry for years. I don't remember for from 01, no, from 02. Because 01, I was paralyzed from the waist down. I didn't do anything then. From 02 to 2020, whenever COVID started, so 18 years or, or somewhere around there, I did a prison ministry, and I wasn't afraid of those guys. They were either behind bars or behind a piece of plexiglass that thick, and there was no way they could get to me, so I just got bold with them and talked to them about Jesus. And this guy was not behind bars. He was face-to-face -face in my yard. But we talked a lot, and he was one of the nicest guys I ever met. And he doesn't have a cell phone. I never heard of anybody in the last 15 or 20 years that doesn't have a cell phone, but he doesn't have a cell phone. He's got a home phone at his house, and so that's the only number I got for him. And I will be using him a lot, and I'm very thankful that I found him my friend that moved out of town gave to me. He's a hard worker and he he was here probably three or four hours but most of that time he wasn't doing anything but he did a lot of work that I didn't ask him to do. He just saw stuff that needed to be done and did it. And I, I like people like that. And so at the end of the day, I gave him $100. And he said, oh, no, 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 no. I said, you owe me like $30. I said, no, 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 no. I said, I, I'm glad I found you, and I really appreciate you, and I want you to have the $100. So he got $100. And I, and I am happy I found him. I, I need help. I need help often. Stuff that I used to could do and did do myself, I can't do anymore because of my crippled up back and legs. And now I've got the congestive heart failure. I just can't do a lot of things that I did myself for years. I know how. I'm very intelligent guy. I just 
physically cannot do a lot of stuff. And, and there's a lot of stuff I can get started on, but I wear out fast because I can't breathe because of this congestive heart failure. And I wear out fast because my legs and back will not allow me to stand and walk for long periods of time. So I need, there's a lot that I used to do that I need help doing now. All of the gardening that I started here, I did by myself, but I did it a little at a time. I would like to have my whole backyard in a garden, but I couldn't take care of it even if I found somebody to till up the backyard and prep it for me. So I don't have big gardens like I did back in Texas, but I like the three little gardens I got. And I've got flowers in different places around the house and on the side porch and so forth. So the place, and I didn't finish more when it got dark. The tractor's got lights on it, but I don't mow in the dark. I don't want the noise from the mower to be interrupting people in the dark. So I shut it off at sundown and came inside and showered. I, I Doing anything outside here, you get dusty, y'all. I was so covered with dust. And I've got, my backyard has a good crop of wheat growing. <laughs> I should let it grow and harvest it, but I'm going to cut it down today. One and a half blocks over that way is a huge wheat field. I'm one and a half blocks from the city limits on the west side of town. And I guess... And it happens every year when, when they plant their wheat. I guess the wind blows a bunch of seeds over here in my yard. So my backyard is pretty much solid wheat. And it's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. It's real green. We've had a lot of rain this year, so it's been well watered. But it's getting cut today. But let's talk about Revelations for a while. We're, we're going to start Revelation shortly. And it's the last book of the Bible that we're reading through together, and then we'll be finished reading the Bible together. In less than eight months, we will have read the whole Bible together. And I've probably read it two or three times. I, I read it a lot. But I don't go... Genesis to Revelation, I'll just, you know, wherever the Holy Spirit drags me, that's where I go. And it's all over the place. And it's a lot more than what I read on camera to y'all every day. And I love it. And even when I'm driving somewhere, I, my phone app, my Bible phone app will read the Bible to me. I just tell it what book and what chapter I want it to read, and it'll read it out loud to me. So when I'm driving, often I have that phone app reading the Bible to me, like I read the Bible to you. And y'all, I've got all of these videos in a playlist. You can go start wherever you want to, and it'll just, and I think you've got to tell your YouTube to, play automatically and it, it'll automatically go from one to the next and I know I've got a lot of ranting and raving in my videos it's a whole lot more than just reading the Bible because <laughs> just like I'm doing now I, I can't just read the Bible I gotta flap my jaws too but this is a separate video this is not a reading through the Bible video it's just Kind of like an introduction and updating y'all on my wonderful day yesterday. And so I, I have updated you on my wonderful day yesterday. And I thank God for yesterday. It does me good to be outside. And I was outside a lot yesterday. And of course, I was happy to get my John Deere running and working the way it's supposed to again. And 
Uh, got some mowing done, but it got dark before I got finished. So I'll finish up today and got some trees to trim over by the driveway. The guy yesterday wanted to do that, and I said, no. I said, I've got the tools, and I want to do it, so I'll do that today. And I'll just throw those limbs in the bed of my pickup, and then one day I'll drive out to the dump where we're supposed to take our tree limbs. Well, let's talk about revelations for a little bit. I, I did, I asked a question on my community page yesterday, and I don't remember what I asked, but something about what is the book of Revelation about, or what is the book of Revelation to you, or something to that effect and four or five of y'all answered and every one of you is right every one of you is right not all of you included everything that it's about but everything that you each said was part of what revelation is about revelation covers a lot But what it's really about, most people miss. And it's in the first verse, I think. Yeah, the first verse of the first chapter of Revelation. And Revelation does not have the letter S on the end. It's not plural. It is singular. Revel the Revelation. The old 16... 11 King James Version says the revelation of Saint John the Divine. Those are not God inspired words, those were written by the author of the 1611 King James Bible, and John was not divine. The Bible, the words of the Bible, are inspired by God. The words of man like that are not inspired by God. The Bible does not lie. It does not err. But that introduction to Revelation in the 1611 King James Bible is wrong. John is not divine that should not even be written there. And I gotta get a sip of coffee, y'all. And I got I switched coffee cups today. I've got got my uh Genesis 125 verse that says, and it was good. That's after God had created all of his creations and sit back and looked at it and said, and it was good. Genesis 125 and it was and is good y'all it's man that's messed it up what God created was good man has messed it up horribly but our God is a God of second chances and he is very soon going to create a new earth and a new heavens yep oh that's good this morning when I gargled with and drank my apple cider vinegar it burned the heck out of my throat going down I don't know what's wrong with my throat it never burns <clears throat> it felt like it was a ball of fire going down my throat this morning so I don't know if it's all the dust from mowing yesterday or I don't know what it was <coughs> I don't feel bad matter of fact I feel better right now than I felt in several months I feel good 
and I'm going to, as soon as I finish my first video in Revelation, I'm going to put on work clothes and go outside and work. But anyway, it burned. It's all right now, and I'm talking okay, so that's all that matters. But anyway, Revelation... Let me just end this video and I'll start on Revelation, okay? This is just a jaw-flapping redneck video. I'll end it, get it started uploading, and then I'll come back and begin Revelation. God bless you, friends.